Hello everybody, this is Dr. Din. I am live from Giovanni Metzpa again and guess what? We are so excited uh, to have uh, such an amazing person and also my client today. Her name is Yvette. Uh, Yvette, uh, would you please uh, uh, let's introduce you because you're also going to be coming on my podcast Absolutely. because we have discussed it back then and then you know you'll be helping uh, me with the foundation and all Absolutely. the work and everything so Yvette is a mental health professional and what do you do Yvette? So I, I do trauma-informed work and I work with um, organizations and clients mm -hmm. and helping them understand their trauma and how trauma impacts their lives mm -hmm. So, uh, and, uh, when, uh, so you also work with uh, body dysmorphia and PTSD. Absolutely. And you were telling me how body dysmor how PTSD and body dysmorphia works uh, and uh, starts happening in early childhood. Early childhood. So a lot of our early childhood experiences are the foundation and the building blocks for how we feel about ourselves later on in life. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And if our early childhood experiences have been negative, uh -huh. or if we've had suffered um, abuse or neglect or anything that really impacts how we see ourselves and mm -hmm. how we feel about the world, that actually shows up later in life in how we take care of ourselves and sometimes in the risky behaviors that we adopt just to make ourselves feel better. Mm -hmm. It is so important because I personally felt from, uh, you know, um, if, uh, I got affected by uh, uh, body dysmorphia because I had it uh, all my life because of my psori psoriasis. And I, uh, you know, although it, it went away when my daughter was born, when I was much younger, I was 26 only at that time, but uh, my, uh, the psychological impact of it was uh, like kind of present even to this day. And when I was, I was telling you, when I was 38 uh, and I was going through my divorce at that point, I was like, oh my God, I wasted like 13 years of my life with this whatever. And, and now my body, I never liked anyway because I had body dysmorphia, but I was like, hey, at least my face is cute. And then my face started having wrinkles also. And I was like, oh my God, my face uh, is also not, uh, you know, it's not looking the best in the world at this point. I mean, what the heck? I wasted so many, so many years. Um, yeah, but when I went and did Botox for the first time, I used to work with a plastic surgeon and I used to um, you know, help her with her uh, surgeries in her office. And I was like, hey, you know, give me some Botox. And she fixed it and I told her that, hey, you know, put some collagen and whatever. And she, uh, uh, you know, helped me uh, fix uh, uh, that. And I actually did feel very good. Yeah. It did have an impact. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know. I had to do a lot of internal work. Botox was not, like it's not like everything was hunky dory for me. I had to do a lot of internal work uh, to you know come to terms with myself and everything. Mm -hmm. It took me years. Like I'm talking about 38. I'm like turning right. 48 this right. year. You know. So and I and I think the connection is that you have to really address your mental health issues. Mm -hmm. Like if you take care of your mind and your body and your spirit you'll start to feel better about yes. yourself and yes. your self-image will improve yeah and as your self-image improves and you're addressing some of the you know the, the darker and more in-depth serious issues um, it will show in how mm -hmm. you take care of yourself and how you eat and how you exercise I think it's on holistic approach really mm -hmm dealing with your mm -hmm. mental health issues, mm -hmm. addressing things from childhood, mm -hmm. understanding where some of the behaviors are coming from, mm -hmm. and then increasing your self-esteem mm -hmm. and looking towards things that make you look better and feel better. Yes, absolutely. And then uh, the thing is that, you know, one of the things, and in the book, I mean, you, you, you're you like, uh, you know, going through it, and I, will, I would make you go through it, <laughs> but, but just to check it, you know, just uh -huh. to check that the, everything uh, is uh, factual in it and uh, stuff, because you're a, a much better, uh, more, uh, you have more expertise in that I mean I have uh, expertise also but like you know I prefer when pe mm -hmm. people have a uh, look at it and so that you know I, everybody has cognitive distortions and sometimes when other experts look at the same Absolutely. work 
you know it uh, takes care of those variables but um, I uh, really uh, would like to address this thing that you know body dysmorphia issues are real Absolutely. and they can impact our lives and our functionality and our productivity and um, uh, they need to be addressed but all of them cannot be addressed in a medical spa mm -hmm. I mean I can address some of your physical signs external. of aging external signs of aging but yeah. a lot of that work you have to do yourself that's internal. with inter that's internal, internal work. work it's not mm -hmm. It's not outside and nothing from outside that can be done will fix how you feel. You, that is an internal job. And yes, we can help you a few, uh, at a few places. So I'm gonna start working on uh, Yvette now. We are doing a little bit of work uh, uh, around your mouth. And uh, how do you feel personally when you did uh, these anti-aging treatments? Because this was well, like a I new feel uh, something. Yeah, I feel great. I didn't um, reach out to any sort of um, external treatments mm -hmm. till I'm actually 60. Wow. So yeah. this is the first time that I've actually sought it out. And I mm -hmm. always felt really good about myself. So self-image is important. Yes. And if you feel good about yourself, you'll age Mm -hmm. well you'll yeah. age in a healthy way yeah. and you'll feel very secure about your aging process yeah so, yeah yes but uh, you did you feel that when you do any of these treatments over here do they help you absolutely. Uh, I mean I just feel more confident you just feel like better absolutely. about it because you're like uh, absolutely does it help with the angst of living and existential oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know you feel more confident the human condition your self esteem is higher yeah, yeah. and when you feel confident and your self esteem yeah. is high you can conquer the world absolutely Absolutely. I, I love it. I, I, you know, even when you get your hair done, as Absolutely. little as getting my hair done, I feel like, oh, yeah. dude, I'm looking great. You know? yeah. I can do this. You know, I, I, I have got a handle on my stuff. Absolutely. And I think it is uh, somewhat, you know, related to it. Well, uh, you know, and women are different than men mm -hmm. because, you know, a, a lot of my friends, they would come and say, oh, you know, my husband is not in this and that or my boyfriend is not in the, into this and that because he doesn't even care about what somebody looks like and I, I always tell them by the way if uh, they're not into like men also and I mean they may not be into themselves that's why they die faster than mm -hmm. women also mm -hmm. and they die younger because they are not that much into themselves and they do they that which actually means that they have less self-awareness mm -hmm. their emotional intelligence is less than women absolutely and that is the reason that you know they don't look after themselves and they end up dying faster you mm -hmm. know guys mm -hmm. you know you guys have to look after yourself too yeah. so there has to be that balance that needs to be maintained so don't go overboard but you know don't totally ignore it yes. you know i have like a chapter in the book it's called your body is not uh, a temple it's a car uh -huh. that you can't get out of uh, -huh. uh the day that you get out of this car you die right uh -huh. So, uh, you know, learn to take care of it. Why Absolutely. not? I mean, not only what you eat, how you sleep, how you uh, interact with others, you know, and uh, uh, including yourself, your mm -hmm. self-perception. So yeah. important, right? Yeah. Take care. I'm going to start injecting her and uh, look. I look forward to having her on my podcast. And one of these days, you guys will see our podcasts actually are going to be every Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Bye-bye.